Hello everyone, my name is Aster and I'm the Logistics Coordinator with Green Iowa AmeriCorps. I will be reading a book with you and talking about how to reuse clothing and other items around your home. Reusing items rather than throwing things in the trash is super important for maintaining a happy and healthy environment. This program is provided through a partnership with the East Central Iowa Council of Government and Green Iowa AmeriCorps slash Matthew 25. We are sponsored by the Benton County Landfill, Iowa County Landfill, Jones County Transfer Station, and the Tama County Landfill. The book we are reading today is called Joseph Had a Little Overcoat by Sims Tabak. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and worn. So he made a jacket out of it and went to the fair. Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and worn. So he made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. Joseph had a little vest. It got old and worn. So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's chorus. Joseph had a little scarf. It got old and worn. So he made a necktie out of it and went to visit his married sister in the city. Joseph had a little necktie. It got old and worn. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. Joseph had a little handkerchief. It got old and worn. So he made a button out of it and he used it to fasten his suspenders. Joseph had a little button. One day he lost it. Now he had nothing. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can always make something out of nothing. The end. How cool is it that one coat became so many different items over its lifetime? Joseph shortened the coat to a jacket, perfect for the, when the weather gets a little warmer. He then turned the jacket into a vest, very stylish. My personal favorite is when he turned the scarf into the necktie, because I really love ties. Every time Joseph reused something, he made something different and gave it a new life. Reusing things is very important because it takes more energy and resources to make something brand new than it does to reuse it. For example, making a new shirt requires 2,700 liters of water. That is almost three years worth of drinking water. Can you imagine giving up drinking water for three years just for a new shirt? Is that even physically possible? On average, every year a person sends 70 pounds of clothing to the landfill. That is as much as some of you might weigh. That is a lot of waste for new clothing, isn't it? But how can you prevent it? Great question. It is easy, and you probably already do some of these. Wearing hand-me-down clothes from your friends or family is a great way to reuse clothing. You can also donate your clothes to organizations that help people who can't afford clothing, or other organizations that sell used clothing, like the Goodwill or Salvation Army. If you have good quality or unworn items you don't want anymore, you can take them to a consignment store or sell them online to make some extra money. You can also transform your old clothing into something brand new like Joseph did. Today I am going to show you how to make a t-shirt pillowcase. You will need an old t-shirt that you are comfortable making cuts on, a pair of scissors, a marker or a pen, a ruler, and a responsible adult. Once you have all of your materials, you are going to take your marker and your ruler and draw a square about 14 inches by 14 inches on the front and back of your shirt. If you need to make the square smaller, that is okay. You will just have a smaller pillow. If there is a graphic on the shirt that you would like to include, feel free. Just make sure you aren't including any sleeves or seams and leaving some room for the cuts. Once you have drawn the squares, take the scissors and cut out the two squares of fabric. You should now have two even squares of fabric. Next, you will lay two piece, the two pieces of fabric on top of each other, like so. Then, you will take your ruler and your marker again, and you will mark where there is two inch squares on each corner, like so. 
and you will do this for each corner. Then you will go through with your scissors why the pieces of fabric are together and cut out the squares. And you will do this for each corner. Once each corner is done, you will then cut one inch slits along each side like so. The slit should also be about two inches long. And you want to do this so that the two pieces of fabric are together so that the slits line up with each other. Once you have cut each corner and cut the slits in the fabric on both sides, you will simply take the slits and tie them together to connect the two pieces of fabric. I like to do double knots so that they hold together better. You will continue doing this for three out of the four sides. It is important to only do three sides so that you can either add your stuffing or add your pillow later on. When you have finished your ties, it should look something like this. So it has three sides tied and one side open. And there is your pillowcase. If you want, you can then put something inside of your pillowcase to make it an actual pillowcase. Some great ideas for this are fabric scraps if you have them laying around, an old pillow that maybe doesn't look the best, or you can get some stuffing and fill yours so it looks something like this. And this is my finished pillow. There are other things you can do at home to reuse clothing items. If you have stained or worn out t-shirts, towels, or sheets, you can cut them to, into rags to use for cleaning around the house. You will also reduce the use of paper towels, which is a bonus. You can turn a t-shirt into a reusable tote bag to reduce the use of plastic bags at the grocery store. And there are tons of ideas online for how you can re reuse clothing. Do you have any ideas for using clothing? So what did we learn today? We learned that you can prevent clothing related waste by doing small things that can make a big impact if everyone does it. You can give your old clothes to your family and friends, or you can donate or sell them for extra money. You can even turn them into something new. We made a pillowcase from an old t-shirt. Now have fun and think of some other items you can make. I might even try making a tie. Thank you for helping me in keeping clothes out of landfills and for joining me in making new items out of reused materials.